mainly 5G will uh, provide three service capabilities. Uh, the first one is really to improve uh, customer uh, experience, customer journey, so really to provide uh, mobile broadband and connectivity where it matters. The second area uh, of improvement related to 5G is Internet of Things. Clearly, uh, this is the main business driver of 5G. Internet of Things refers to the time when everything will have an IP address. Today it's just smartphones, tomorrow it'll be your refrigerator, your car, your bicycle, everything will be on the internet. And in a situation like that, you have potentially tens of billions of devices around the world that will all be part of a network. 5G brings mobility to this, so, you know, all of these mobile devices will communicate over the fifth generation network. Some more examples of um, what, what will 5G enable that we haven't seen before. One of the things I can think about is uh, a massive number of devices which don't need to be recharged too often. And when we have that, that means we can have new applications where it has not been possible to communicate before. We see some of the examples already popping up inside homes where you can have automation, you can have me measure temperatures and things like that in the house and get that data onto your smartphone um, to control and have a more comfortable life inside, inside your home. And the, the third area uh, of service capabilities for 5G will be the development of mission critical application. So here we are thinking about uh, very specific use case like Autonomous driving, which is very exciting uh, uh, application. The idea would be that, for example, when uh, you go back at home, uh, you leave your car at the end of the building, and then the car goes directly to the parking place. My understanding of 5G at the moment is that it is going to be based on multiple technologies, either new technologies or technologies that exist and that will be integrated together. So I believe that this is a unique opportunity for SMEs and startups to be able to test and to come up with new ideas, disruptive technologies that could be then plugged in into the whole new 5G network. Now the standardization, uh, uh, let's say, uh, time frame is going to start in the next few months. There will be important milestones in terms of spectrum allocations. And we need to set in motion, uh, let's say, all the framework through the association that will allow to support this type of uh, objective. We are working on all the different aspects of a future communication network, which will address, on one hand, very wideband communication, like video transmission, very low latency applications. We are looking for vertical sectors to support many different other industries. And therefore, it has a very wide scope, far beyond classical telecommunication. We believe that uh, broadcast technology should be um, incorporated into the network to prevent uh, overdimensioning of the network to accommodate uh, peak traffic uh, conditions.